now you can see the batch is in starting state so now the batch went to fail status so let's see what failed let's click on that fail so we can view the logs over here so we'll click on view logs so it says an error occurred resource not found when calling put item operation so obviously we forgot to create our dynamo table so let's create our table because our script is not creating table it's just putting data in the table so let's go back and see what table name we are using test table so let's go back to dynamo db create table so it's also it's expecting a primary key named pk and a sort key sk so this is just a demo so basically everything is hard coded I'm gonna click on create so now we have our test table running or it's been created and now we'll run our job again and see what happens so let's go back to our batch create a job select our job definition our queue everything else will remain the same and let's click on submit job let's see what happens now so we'll go to dashboard we have one failed from our previous demo or from our previous section where we hadn't created our dynamo table so it's in starting state it succeeded yay so now let's go to our DynamoDB table and there it is the batch succeeded it put rows in the DynamoDB table so here's one imp important thing we go to back to your compute environment and remember we just had selected for the service role create a new service role and for instance role create a new instance role so let's check this instance role ECS instance role that it was created by the AWS batch. So we'll go to IAM. So this ECS instance role has this permissions and it needs this logs permissions to put the logs in CloudWatch so that you can later troubleshoot like what happened, what didn't happen. So we can go to CloudWatch, click on logs, and you can see here we have a log stream and all the print statements, and there should be one for the failed one as well. So basically, you need to have proper permissions in your compute environment, proper IAM roles. Like initially, you can just let it create the service role and the instance role and it and it should be fine the problem sometimes with aws batch is your environment will get or your batch will get stuck in run runnable state like if you go to dashboard and there's this runnable state and it will just get stuck over here and then there are no really logs to tell why it's in runnable state but uh, then you will re literally have to troubleshoot what's going on and why it's in runnable state. So this is a basic demo of AWS batch and you can find the source code in the link below the video.